Hello and welcome back to The Forge, I'm Blacksmith Farva. Today we're going to be trying something a little different and I will be showing you how to replace the CPUs in your computer. I hope you enjoy and if you'd like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe, click the bell icon. To get started you're just going to need a few tools. I recommend a hammer, isopropyl alcohol, thermal paste, cotton swabs, and a screwdriver. Alright, to get started we're going to remove the side panel from the case and anything that might be blocking us from accessing the CPU such as the power cables, fan cables, and fans themselves. Once everything's out of your way and you can access the screws mounting the cooler to the socket, you can take those out removing the coolers. And on the CPU you can open up the holder and remove the old CPUs from the socket. With your old CPUs removed, you can now take your new CPUs and set them into the socket, paying close attention to the gold arrow on the bottom of the CPU and the black arrow on the bottom of the socket. Apply a small, and I mean small, amount of thermal paste on top of the heat spreader. To remove any remaining thermal compound from your cooler using isopropyl alcohol, rags, Q-tips, whatever you need to use, before setting it back on top of the socket and bolting it back down. Once it's bolted back down to the proper specs, which is usually just finger tight or bottom it out, who am I to judge? You can connect all the fans, cables, and power connectors back to the motherboard and get ready to fire up. And if it doesn't fire up, might have messed up somewhere along the way and it's time to use that hammer that I mentioned in the beginning. Or start again and figure out what you did wrong, but that's not really the part I'm good at. Thanks for joining us in the Forge, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe.